Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Rare Eddie One, and welcome. I hope you're having a great, fantastic time. Tonight, I'm, I'm going to be doing pop culture and I am going to do my episode 3, season 11, episode 3 of Future Rama. Now, let's put me down in a little corner and let's get on with it. So, I'm going to be starting at Rotten Tomatoes. I don't normally start at Rotten Tomatoes, but I thought it was interesting. Well, not maybe not interesting. It's just to uh, basically give you a, a look at the uh, uh, the uh, reviews. or Well, maybe not reviews, but scores. So, audience score, 90%. Season 11, audience score, 92. And 86 critics. We're clicking here. We've got top critics, 100%. Bloody hell. Now, I'm not going to lie. Episodes 1 and 2, I didn't enjoy. I liked, I didn't enjoy them. I give them. I give them both a five. I give them both a, a mid, very mid. I didn't enjoy it. They didn't feel like Futurama to me. Now episode three, and I, I put the uh, front page of Futurama out, and it's got an eight point five on IMDb. Uh, I know, I know. They've probably seen um, some. Most of these people have probably seen a few more episodes than what we've we've been able to see, but. 8.5 as if big i'm a, i am a big futurama fan i fucking love futurama and i i really enjoyed tonight i wouldn't say i fucking loved it but i really enjoyed tonight's episode so i give this episode a 7 out of 10 i hope this isn't a one-off that's how i sort of feel hope this episode isn't a one-off but let's see let's wait until episode four five and six and let's see how i do feel so, I have some notes, so I will go over some notes, but let's have a quick look. Season 11, episode 3, how the West was 1010001. Now, looking into that, 1010001 is very important in this episode. In binary, it's it, it means 81 and when when we when we have a look in in the episode you'll see why it's 81 but this episode felt like a futurama episode to me it felt like a futurama of old uh, to me it felt it felt i'd i'd maybe gone back into a season five you know episode it 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 wasn't the greatest um episode uh there there has been um but it felt it felt good again, you know. Um, seeing some some past characters, seeing some um, old uh, show favorites. One of the new characters was the Borax Kid, and it is it it was good seeing the Borax Kid again. Uh, but my favorite was um, seeing Roberto. Ha <laughs> ha! Roberto is. I fucking love that character. Absolute hilarious character. This this episode is how the West was a Western um, episode of Futurama. Uh, I don't think it's the first time they've done that, um, but I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Some of the stuff they was coming out with was quite fun. I've, I've watched it twice now. The second time I watched it, I was a bit tired. I did sort of nod off, woke up and re. Rewound it and uh, carried on. Um, I'm, I'm not saying the TV show put me to sleep. I was just very tired. That's why I thought it, it sort of um, put me to sleep. Um, so it's directed James Kim and Peter. Oh God, I'm gonna fucking butcher your name, Avenzo. I'm sorry. I really uh, Matt Groening, David X Cohen, and. Uh, Ken Keeler and starring Billy West, Katie Siegel, fucking love Katie Siegel, and John DiMaggio. Sorry, I probably butchered his name as well. Get into a, f a few of my notes and have a look. And actually, another thing, when the credits, when the, uh, the intro goes, there's only a few that I do not skip. And this is one of them. I did not skip this intro, and I will never ever skip a Futurama intro. I fucking love them. So when it comes up the intro, it comes Futurama pops up. But sometimes they have you know um, 
some funny little thing. It's quite it was quite funny. Um, uh, it was uh, Hulu Armor, yeah, because it's on Hulu now. And the little comment underneath, which I fucking loved, based on actual UFO sightings, and I loved that. If you know me, I'm a big UFO, aliens, conspiracy guy. Um, it this this episode, like like again, that it really did feel like an old old Futurama episode um, when. When the professor comes in and he's, he didn't say good news this time, but when the episode starts, you, you generally get them, around, them all sat around the table, you know, talking about missions they're going to maybe do, you know, what's previously happened, you know, they're, they're just general chit-chatting. And the pref, professor always, generally always comes in with, good news, everybody. Um, but today, he, news, bad. <laughs> and that, it just... Felt like future armor. It felt like future armor. In the he, he interrupts himself. He's like, "Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you was watching TV." And then we 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 go to the TV screen, and it's um, it's the news anchor team. I can't, I, I can never remember the name. You see, you got the alien, the blonde haired lady. Uh, I can't fucking remember their names now. Um, but this is so. I love how Futurama do this. So it's a news, it's news, but it's also like a, it's news, but it's also a morning TV show. That's what it felt like to me. So good morning, Britain, or good morning, America. It's that sort of, so uh, the alien, I can't remember, the green alien, I can't remember his name. It, it's on the tip of my tongue. I want to say Morbius, but I know it's not. Oh, I, I had it then, but I can't, I can't. I'm sorry. Correct me, you know, put it in the chat if you you, you know the alien name or the anchor. Anyway, he's uh, he's saying um, a planet with 58 billion um, life beings on our life um, people, basically. Uh, a comet has hit and destroyed everything and all them all that that life has been destroyed and then you you sort of cut to the the blonde lady or i can't remember her name as well and she just laughs it off laughs it off like that laugh where you know it's that laugh that they have to get to the next topic and it just it reminds me of you know them morning tv shows good morning britain good morning america slash a, a news uh, show and i just fucking love that like i said this felt like future armor i'm not saying finally because i haven't seen um i haven't seen him in a long time i've not seen future armor in a long time anyway so we we find out the professor has um um invested in bitcoin and lost it all lost it all let, let me uh, click on some of these pictures and scroll through these is uh lost it all and uh and he owes the uh, robot mafia which i love the robot mafia seeing them again clamps um that they're gonna you're basically gonna get clamped if they don't come up if the professor doesn't come up with the money which means the professor and the whole crew is gonna get clamped so anyway they they, they find out the, the lot the bankrupt yet again the bankrupt yet again because of bitcoin maybe not yet again with, with bitcoin but the bankrupt and then they find out that everyone's going west because bitcoin shoot suddenly shooting up now this is i do have a problem with this they could have made up a couple of bitcoins so bitcoin and ethereum ethereum or ethereum uh, bitcoin they could have maybe made up a, a, a a bitcoin I, I don't know why they didn't but you know hey oh never mind and so they, they go out west and uh they're, they're flying and in the space i don't think it's on the pictures in here um it's uh, roberto but they, they go out west and um they're, they're traveling and they they get to sort of the west the border of the west and this is another thing why I love Futurama because it does you do get little little bits of science. They're in the spaceship and traveling out west, 
and they see um they get to the border of the west and they see like this dome it it looks like it's charging it but the professor explains he he tells the crew that the mining is producing so much power it's ionizing the the atmosphere around it so you, you get cool little little uh scene you know of the ionization and that and that was that was pretty cool and that's what i generally future armor generally do pretty well and as a carting up and the city's called doge city so doge doge coin and uh and I, I believe there's a city out out there um dodge city I, I'm, I'm i'm not sure i'm not 100 percent sure um but I, I thought that was funny and then Leela's talking to Fry and they're, they're talking, yeah, Fry's on about how he loves the Borax kid who's who's great. I, I love the Borax kid. Um, he, uh, he's reading the Borax kid novel book, comic. Um, I, I love how they do their books as well because pictures are basically like a little TV show. And it's... Not, like your iPad, um, and and that that was good. But um, Leela said we're entering. It's the uh, Doge City is is a dangerous city. Let's put on our hard hats, and they put on fucking cowboy hats. Yeah, I fucking love that. That made me chuckle. And then it it made me chuckle. Um, seeing uh, Roberto, it it uh, I fucking. I love Roberto, and there we go. They put on their hard hats, and uh, yeah, that 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 made me chuckle. Um, so the gang's mainly out there for Thallium. Element eighty one is why they're out there. So that they are the gang is out there because they're after Thallium, which is element. 81 on the table and that's why they're out there um to because that's why that's a big component in chips and uh so that the basic gold to them now and i like how they get into doge city um i just want to say doge coin they have to to all take old timey old west jobs and they keep they keep repeating. Oh, so we're we're going to be old westy, and uh, old old west. And I thought I thought that that was pretty good. Um, there is a couple of side uh, plots in this, and Bender's side uh, quest uh, story was he buys an ass, <laughs> he gets rid of his ass, and he buys an ass, um, a donkey. Uh, he calls it a racehorse. <laughs> And he, he buys he buys an ass, and uh, this is the only thing what sort of let the episode down to me. So Bender has a song in this episode. Generally, Futurama songs are are, are pretty good. Are, are are well put together. That they're, they're funny. They're they're just a good general a good song altogether and this one wasn't it was a little bit annoying a little bit forgettable and i just didn't enjoy it now it, it gets us to where he needs to be he needs to injure his donkey so we can take him to dr zoyberg who is now the town's doctor old west doctor um because roberto has a gun knife now, if you don't really know or remember what Roberto was, Roberto was a psych, was a psycho. Roberto was a psycho who liked stabbing people or stabbing things, and he's in the old west, so he needs a gun. But his gun is now shooting knives, which was funny. We also find out. Well, we don't. We we find out, but we we get reminded that. The Borax kid who starts off as quite a noble um, character is more of a um, more of a dick. He steals, he cheats, and and basically that. 
Um, I don't think the pictures are on here, but we, we get introduced to a couple of new characters. So there's a, a robot, which I haven't seen Futurama. Well, not in the last couple of episodes, but a, a newish style robot where he's p playing piano, uh, piano, and uh, we find out that Fry doesn't really know what a brothel is. He, he thinks it's a soup kitchen at the end of it. And uh, what we don't realise is, spoilers, um, that the brothel is a little crappy room, but beyond that brothel, it's more of a, a mining uh, factory and where the owner of the bar, she steals the robot's heads and uh, basically a mining farm for Bitcoin. And uh, that was that was quite fun. We we see we don't see Zoyberg, but we 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 see um Zoyberg has uh, mended Bender's ass, so that's that's good for Bender and and me ass. They're pan they're panhandling for Falium, and uh, they find a massive rock, which they go to take. But Bender's been put on, which this is another thing I've really enjoyed. Bender, so there's a few of them, and the professor says one of us should um, stay on guard. And uh, we've not seen this in a while, but he's, I would, but I'm in my pyjamas. He takes off his lab coat and he's in his pyjamas and he goes straight to sleep like that. And that was, that was fun. So I'm, I'm reminiscing of, this this was actually a good episode and it's good it had a few scenes in it what i look back on and i, I find rather good there's I, I don't want to go into too much spoilers we find out it's the the lady of the the establishment who owns the establishment the bar slash brothel has been stealing or hijacking robot heads and creating a, a bitcoin mining farm and uh, Bender and Roberto have been uh, stolen. Their heads are on, on the shelf and and uh, the gang takes them back and put them on their body. And uh, yeah, they get locked in and Bender's ass saves the day. His donkey saves the day. And one of the really good scenes, what I, I had some great visual, uh, visuals of the camera as I, as if the camera was filming, so you know, some good shots. The uh, shootout, the old west style shootout between six of them, and uh, the way the the camera sort of the animation sort of panned around each one was fantastic. Really well done, absolutely really well done. Um, but other than that, I I really enjoyed this episode. Really enjoyed this episode, and I'm looking forward to the next one. Uh, seeing Roberto, seeing, you know, the Borax kid. I can't wait till we, we see some of the old classic characters. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, and for these these type of shows where they're, they're sort of going off current current events, it was very well done. It didn't, they didn't go too deep into current events. They kept it light. They kept it fun. And, and that's all we want. And, and it was a fun episode. Again, I I will probably, like I said, I give this a seven. Uh, I think it's the highest for me on Futurama at the minute. And so yeah, I a hundred percent. I I do recommend this show now. Well, I, I I've always recommended this show. So I I'm gonna start recommending this show now because um, that episode, you know, hopefully it's not not just a one off. So. Maybe wait until my episode four review comes out. Um, we'll see how I feel then. So, I hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode. Um, my uh, review of uh, season 11, episode three. Week three of Futurama. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, I thank you anyway um, for the view. Um, it helps me out. It really does. Thank you. Um, if you have liked it, please feel free to give me a, a thumbs up. And feel free to subscribe to me. That would be awesome. I would love that. How to contact me is in the description. If you want to get in contact with me, that would be awesome. Um, I will always, always try and reply. I, no, 
I will always, always reply. It could be a day, it could be an hour, it could be two days, but I will always reply. So please, please get in contact with me. Please uh, get in the comments and tell me if you like this episode. Tell me if you're going to watch this episode. Um, tell me what you, you, you guys think of it and that'd be awesome. But anyway, I'll be rare you want. I will see you in my next video. Peace. Yeah.